you wondrous people of YouTube. It is me again with another YouTube video. You are looking at a gun mock I did basically the day after school ended. I was sitting in TV production on the last day of school and we had just finished our final test and it felt like drawing so I came up with a really weird ray gun design. Um, for some reason I'm really obsessed with ray guns. I don't know why but I just am. So I came up with a really weird design to take an SMG or assault rifle, maybe a carbine, and combine it with the ray gun from Black Ops. And this is what we got. Now then, I did color it differently with the white and blue, almost to the Peacekeeper colors because I like the white and blue better. Um, I'll probably go ahead and I'll make a different version of this one modeled after, like a, maybe a ray gun Mark III almost, um, but that will probably come later on. So. This is, oh god, not again. Great. I do one thing and LDD decides to not respond. So while this image is still up on the screen, we're going to review a few things about it. As you can see, there is a rail system that goes all the way across the top. Right there. There is also a rail system down here, but at the same time it acts as a grip. The barrel has an interesting shape to it because it comes out. It comes out, flares out, and then it comes straight out. And then this is the front side up here. I believe it's working again. Yes, it is. Um, so as you can see, it consists of two parts. You have your main part here, which is the gun itself, and then you have the stock itself. But we're going to start in the front of this model. So we've done the barrel, we've done the top rail, we've done the bottom rail. Now then, you also have these little vents here. This was a very unique design. I really like this design because of uh, just the very unique look it gives it. I really enjoy it. Um, on the side of the handguard here, as you can see, we have blue stripes with the vents in the middle of them. As you can see, there's white in between each of the vents. Uh, this is the bottom rail that I was talking about. Coming back into the pistol, or yeah, the yeah pistol grip here. We have ourselves a working trigger. It moves back like so instead of like so. <clears throat> and as you can see, we have ourselves a magically shaped um, trigger guard that comes up into the front of the handguard. Coming back behind where everything happens in this magical bolt here, as you can see, it is ambidextrous, which means you can pull back on this side, you can pull back on this side, no problem. It will still work on either side, whichever you choose. There is this blue stripe going all the way throughout the model gives it a really nice look I really like it sorry I'm thinking about something here we have ourselves an ambidextrous fire selector as you can see this is the safety and this is the fire I don't know why the fire is not red but apparently it is not and as I said it's ambidextrous so as you can see it's on both sides coming back on to the stock we have ourselves a very, very large side piece mounted here with another blue stripe through it with those grills set into it and then a small thin blue stripe across the top here with a small blue rectangle right there. This is our butt piece, our basically piece of rubber that absorbs a lot more recoil than anything else. And then the one thing that you guys have probably already noticed that I probably don't really need to point out is where the magazine is. Uh, now then, I was looking for some revolutionary design concept and how ray guns work because of um, how innovative they have been. So this is one of the revolutionary concepts I came up with. As you can see, there are holes through here. And you would put a half piece in these two holes here. You can't really see that. In these two holes here, and then it will hold this entire side plate in here. And as you can see, these windows are looking at something yellow. Well, you would take your thumb and forefinger and kind of pull down on this little knob here. And then you would simply flip out like so. And then the magazine just slides right on out. The magazine is this entire yellow thing inside of there. So that's where the magazine is. It's located in the stock. And then it moves all the way through the entire model to be launched out of the barrel at some zombies or whatever else you are shooting at. And um, in case you want to see what it looks like to look down the sights, looks pretty much just like that. Only the front sight, there is no rear sight, 
just like almost any other zombie killing gun or zombie ray gun. And uh, yep, that's pretty much it. So I would really like to see Black Ops do something like this if they ever do like a Mark III ray gun. Because I just saw the, um, they updated the ray gun to look really, really awesome. I love the new looks of it, but I would really appreciate it if they did something like this because it would look a lot cooler. Um, so yeah, that was pretty much it for this video. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe for more videos like this one. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for watching.